So we just established the fact that 2n plus 3 is O n squared, but it can also be O of n. And on the test, a question might ask you, which one is the tightest big O? So which one do we choose? The tightest big O is the answer that is the closest to our original function, which is O of n. So this right here will be the answer. I also want to show you the fast way to find the tightest big O of a function. So what is the tightest big O of this function here? Well, the first step is to get rid of constants. So you get rid of constants like these ones, like 11. And now the second step is to choose the largest term. So out of these three terms, which one is the largest? You have n to the power of 3, you have log of n, and n squared. Well, of course, this one will be the largest. So you, can, you get rid of these ones. And the last step is simply get rid of the coefficient. And now you know that this function is going to be O n to the power of 3. A kind of a special case is when you only have a constant. So if it's only a number, then this will automatically be considered O of 1. So how can we know which function is larger than which one? You can look at this list here. So the top function is the one that is the largest or grows the fastest, and the bottom one is the smallest or grows the slowest. On the test, I always write down, nowadays, fascinating experiments push new limits, scientific learning and creativity. So the C stands for constant, the L stands for logarithmic, the S is for square root, the L is for linear functions, this N is for n log n, the P is for polynomials such as n to the power of 3, n to the power of 4, and this E is for exponential such as 2 to the power of n, and F, guess what, it's for factorial, and the last N is n to the power of n. So this is a trick that I use to memorize this list.